Ladies and gentlemen and graphic designers, we're going to get started with the co collage and we're going to do part one, just kind of getting familiar with the project and kind of getting started here. So I want you to look up images of a collage and if you do, you're going to see something like this. So a collage is where you take a bunch of pictures, there's a theme, and you mush them together. Sometimes they get complicated where you make a picture out of pictures. Sometimes it's just a bunch of stuff that you like that you put together but it has a theme to it so that is here's like a really simple version of it here's a simple version of it okay there's also a thing called a composite which has a lot of the same skills but a little more but a little more complex and that's where you make like you take pictures to make an image that never really happened so this thing never really existed never really happened but you're mushing pictures together to make kind of a fantasy scene so you can do either one you can do a composite or a collage whichever you choose. Now the next deal is this, the first thing that we're going to do is the 3x3. Three three. So you're going to take three pictures for your collage, okay? And your pictures need to match one of the rules or guidelines that we talked about. So the first step is to take th to come up with a theme for your collage, take three pictures for the collage, you can collect some pictures from the internet for your collage, and then the other step is to take a look at the scoring guide for the collage. I'm not going to go through it, you can open it up and look at it but please look at this so you're actually doing the project that I've assigned and not just some random project that I didn't assign okay um, okay so let's make our, sure we have the correct folder that we need so you should have something like this you should have a folder with your name on it you should have a folder called creative computers you should have a folder called collage and mine's a little bit more complicated because I do a bunch of collages um, so but here's my collage and then you're gonna have a collage assets folder and one of the requirements of the project is that you name the uh, pictures according to the naming guidelines. So all the pictures from that you've taken and from the internet are all named properly in your folder. Now remember, whenever you have an assets folder, the project doesn't go in there. Here's the project. Here's the Photoshop document. It does not go in the assets folder. It's not an asset. It's the main thing. The assets are all the uh, things that you get off the internet and the pictures that you take. All right, so now that you've got your pictures that you've taken, you've got your files and folders, we're going to go ahead and get started with actually making the Photoshop document. Now, in Photoshop, it is a raster or a pixel-based program, so it's very, very important that you get started with the, the correct um, file format. So you're going to go File, New. You're going to make sure it's 8 and a half and 11, or you could also go 11 by 8 and a half. That's the size of a piece of paper. Either way is fine. The resolution is 300 because we're going to be printing to a printer. And because our printer is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, we're going to use CMYK. And we're going to click OK. And the, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go File. And you're going to go Save As. And you're going to save it in your folder with your name on it. You're going to save it in your Creative Computer folder. You're going to save it in Collage. And you're going to save it right here. So, oh, what is, what's happening? This is not right. It's mine is trying to save it as a JPEG. We need to photo save it as a PSD, a Photoshop document. And so I'm going to call this Miller Collage. You can save it as something simple like that, and I'm going to save it. Okay, okay, that's it for now. Go ahead and do that, and then go on right on to the